What's an oh shit moment where you realized you've been doing something the wrong way for years? I had a used car and didn't realize until a couple years later that it had remote start. Person buying my now more used car, this has remote start, me, no person, pushes button. Starts car, me. Well, price just went up. Never mind. I'm keeping it. When I was five a Pizza Hut employee told me that the powder on the breadsticks was called fairy dust. Ordered extra fairy dust on my breadsticks until I was around 14 when an employee said, do you mean garlic salt? It still devastates me to realize how obtuse I was. I worked at Pizza Hut from 16 to 21. We called it fairy dust. It wasn't very long. But when I was learning to drive my dad was explaining the rule of thumb regarding a safe distance to be behind the car in front of you. I thought it meant to hold your thumb up and if your thumb didn't cover the entire car you were too close to it. When he caught me doing that he asked me what I was doing. When I explained he burst out laughing. Then considered it. And concluded it wasn't a bad idea but perhaps a bit distracting. We bought a nice liquor cabinet. We got it delivered and noticed it was a bit shorter than we thought. No biggie. Three years later. We're moving. Lift up cabinet and these beautiful. Ornate. Screw on legs wrapped in tape and bubble wrap fall off the bottom. Looks so much better now. Until last week. When my father-in-law would made a phone call on his very basic non-touch screen flip phone he would open the menu. Scroll to the phone icon. Open it. Hit the soft key for contacts. Scroll to the person he wanted to call. Press OK. Then press the soft key to call. When he mentioned how he preferred his landline because he could just dial the number. I said, humor me. Just dial the number and hit the talk button. I've never seen a man so simultaneously grateful and embarrassed. Couple years ago I was trying to open some toothpaste and had to break the seal of the tube. I used to look for something like a nail to break it. Then one day I looked at the pointy end of the cap and thought what if I could use this to break it and oh s it did fit and broke it effortlessly. And so did every other tube product I had in the house and their respective cap. My mind was blown. Since the dawn of time. I would pick up the silverware and utensils out of their tray in the dishwasher and put them away in their drawers then go back and pick up more out of the dishwasher. Then one day I saw my wife lift the tray out of the dishwasher and I legit stood there with my mouth open. When I was a kid I loved drinking coffee but didn't know how to make it. My mom taught me but the coffee ratio she told me to use was like 1 tablespoon per 1 pot of coffee as opposed to the actual ratio 1 tablespoon, 1 cup of water. Fast forward about 13 years to a couple months ago and I was reading the back of my Folgers coffee thing and there was a little diagram showing how much to actually use. I then realized my mom had told me the wrong amount so I a wouldn't drink all her coffee and b wasn't super hyped up going into school. I always thought eggplant tasted itchy. Like itchy was a flavor. Like sour or salty. Fed some to my baby and his face turned red wherever the eggplant touched. And I realized we're both just allergic to eggplant. And itchy isn't a flavor. Apparently the red ring around the bologna is not supposed to be eaten. My mom has been pronouncing Massachusetts, Massachusetts teas for years and no one corrected her because they thought she just had strong feelings about Massachusetts. My mother cannot pronounce that or Mitsubishi. She tries but same outcome and Mitsubishi comes out Miss Yo by CHY. I lived in a house for six years with a bathroom with no shelf or cupboard to put toiletries into. I was very disappointed and ended up using a window sill that was way too small to fit everything. Anyway, one day we had a friend over and he asked why we don't have anything in our bathroom cupboard. I was confused so he showed me. It turns out that the mirror I had been using for six years has a hidden compartment behind it. It was a mirrored door to a mounted cupboard on the wall. I was astonished and immediately moved all my stuff from the window into the new space. My friend was baffled that I had never figured out there was a space behind the mirror. There was an obvious gap between it and the wall that I somehow failed to notice. No one really ever told me you don't need to buy shoes with the two fingers space in front of the toes after your feet stop growing. I had been buying an entire size too big until about age 23. 20. 3. One day in college I decided to try a pair of Merrill barefoot type shoes and after reading the sizing guide. Bam. Mind blown. 
It's terribly obvious mistake I 29F like to blame on being an only child. But really I'm just a f king moron. Well. This was a few years ago. I was the director of IT for a very large company. I was given a new cell phone and told to set up my voicemail. I don't know that when I recorded my name it would be played to whomever I leave a voicemail for. Well the name I recorded was. Duder 84 Corporate IT God. I worked there for four years until someone in the hallway referred to me as the corporate IT god, I was so embarrassed. My mom used to refer to me as a bull in a china shop. Always heard it as bull in a china shop. Thinking it was a compliment. At about 22 I hear someone else use the phrase and realized she meant bull. Not bull. I grew up without a mom. She passed when I was six. I was afraid to ask my dad how to put a tampon in. One day I made a comment about age 18 to some friends that tampons hang out too far out your bajingo and made me feel like I waddled when I walk. My friend asked me how I put them in. I thought it would get stuck up there and wasn't inserting it far enough. Did it wrong for about 5 years. My friends still make fun of me for it. I can't help but use the dead mom card. But looking back it's pretty common sense how to shove it up there. I owned a car with swivel headlights and it was very nice to have that. Discovered three years in that I had never turned on the swivel feature. My name is Ryan. It took me until I was in first grade to realize my name wasn't in the alphabet. My mom had told me my name was in the alphabet. And I felt so lucky. She obviously meant the letters to spell my name were in the alphabet. But nope. It took that long to realize the alphabet didn't go W. X. Ryan Z. Don't feel bad. My birthday is in July. I was under the impression until I was 7 that the 4th of July. The fireworks, specifically, were for my birthday. I felt really dumb, but also really really sad when I realized they weren't. Last month was the first time I discovered lint rollers were peelable. Literally sat there for a minute to take that in. Edit, I'm 20. I my eldest child had a penchant for blowing out of his diapers, we tried everything but multiple times a week we had to pull that poo-filled onesie over his head and inevitably give our now super-duper poo-covered infant a bath. Around when I was pregnant with our second. A post went viral about how infant onesies are designed to be broad at the shoulders so you can pull them down and off instead of over the head. Poor kid would have had so many fewer poo-in-hair incidents had I known that then. Realized the multi-colored tape measures glued to the door frames of gas stations etc. Are for identifying robbers. Not for measuring yourself as you walk out. I mean. They can be. But that's not why they are there. Unless you're the robber. Not mine. But my dad has been spelling his name wrong his whole life. He's 51. His name is Jeffrey. And he's been spelling it like that since he learned how to spell his name. A few months ago my mom pulled out his birth certificate. And we all learned it's actually spelled Jeffrey. Not sure if he spells it correctly now. But it was definitely an oh shit moment for him. Grandfather thought his name was Harvey his whole life. Got his birth certificate at 65 and it's Harmon. My aunt and uncle gave my grandmother a copy of her birth certificate for her birthday. Apparently she had never had one. On her 77th birthday. She found out she was actually 78. Learned earlier last year, bust a nut isn't an expression for when something hits your nuts or you land in a way that crushes them. I was at Crate and Barrel with my GF talking about how it's so weird they don't make tongs so you open them up super wide and then press in, I thought it was odd that they only gave you a super tiny opening. In the middle of me saying this she just presses the button at the bottom of the tongs I was holding and I stop mid-sentence in shame. When I was a kid and was acting up. My dad would always threaten to leave me at this mean old lady's house. Her name was Helen Handbasket. Fast forward about 28 years later and it clicks out of nowhere while I was on a customer call at work. Customer, this whole network is going to hell in a handbasket. Me, ha, I'm an idiot. Customer, did you figure it out? Me, oh, no, not yet. I used to fill the kettle by the spout. My parents have always done it this way. I thought the center part was mainly for decoration. But not functional. I don't know why I never questioned this. One day I bought a new tea kettle and my husband was like WTF what is inside this. And with great ease. Opened the center to pull out a manual with instructions and whatnot. I was drinking dirty paper water for like two weeks. 
One day I used the key fob to remotely start my dad's car. It was an oh shit moment for him. Two years and he didn't realize he had this handy little function. When I was a kid, I was told that the paper that came on cupcakes, muffins was edible. I would spend a decade eating them like this paper and all. Until a friend pointed it out. I mean, you ate them for a decade. I think you proved they're edible. I am lactose intolerant. I genuinely did not know this for the first 25 plus years of my life. I always had to go to the bathroom after eating something with cheese in it. One day it just clicked, I bought some lactate. Took it before the next time I ate cheese. And I didn't have to go to the bathroom. It was mind blowing. I have no idea how I didn't make the connection for years. So I guess you could say instead of having a oh shish tea moment I had a no shish tea moment. My family always had a cup next to the bathroom sink in case you needed to rinse your mouth after brushing your teeth or maybe get a quick drink of water in the middle of the night. My grandma had the same cup at her house. I used it for years whenever I was thirsty. One day she saw me doing this and said, don't use that cup. That's where grandma puts her teeth. Quote. Living in a foreign country where I was actively learning the language. Social cues go a long way when learning a language on the spot. That being said, someone once said a phrase to me while serving a hot dish, which I assumed as meaning, excuse me, after going through crowds and lines, replicating the same phrase in an attempt to be respectful of those around me. I abruptly found out that the phrase actually meant, enjoy. Hindsight, completely makes sense. The odd looks I would get by saying, enjoy, while squeezing past people all of a sudden made sense. Part of me was hoping you've been announcing that you're a hot dish while passing by people for all these years. Hot dish. Coming through. Hot dish. Quote. I didn't realize I had to brush the back of my teeth as well as the front, I was a dumb kid, I blamed toothpaste adverts, until I was 15. Had 9 filings and a root canal. My wife and I have this ceiling fan, light in our bedroom in the house we moved into 2 years ago. It has a remote control for the fan and lights. About a year and a half ago the lights suddenly stopped working. The fan works well and we didn't have a ton of money so we've just lived with lamps in the room. Always being frustrated with how damn dark it is. I was scrolling some other thread on tilde tilde ask credit tilde tilde tifu a few weeks ago and the top post was a guy talking about how his lights stopped working years ago. And then he found out that it was just dimmed which you do by holding down the button on the remote. It sounded so much like our fan I went and tried it. Dimmed. I didn't find out that I was supposed to punch out for lunch until my third job. And even then it was because a coworker mentioned it in passing that they were clocking out for lunch. Winding a watch that was battery powered. For like. A year. Ah. Fu K. Thanks for making me think of that. As a boy. I had an unconventional method for masturbating. It would require a diagram to get across all its subtleties. But let's just say that it required two hands. Was not intuitive. And simulated no known SX act, it was suboptimal. After a year or so of convoluted self-abuse. One of the older kids made the international JRKOFF hand gesture towards me. My jaw dropped. I instantly knew that I had been doing it wrong all that time. It was so simple. So obvious. Way quieter. And way more effective. I tried it that night and never looked back. That dude changed my life. Thank you. Chris Eastman. I'm so curious about this unconventional method. Former school nurse here. The number of high school boys who don't know what circumcision is is amazingly high. Many think they were born circumcised. When they finally see a foreskin. They are in complete awe. When they find out the brown ring on their pee is a scar from when their foreskin was removed. They are also amazed. Wow. 